Hey, Hannah Mouse One here. Welcome to a slightly different video. Um, as you guys know, if you watch my channel, one of my hobbies is making sculptures out of paper clip. Now I love this medium because it is cheap and when I first started out, I literally had all the materials I needed in my house and most likely you do too. And while I may have made a lot of videos showing you the things I've made, I've never really done a full beginner's guide on how to um, make a paper clay sculpture for the first time. So I figured, why not do that today? All right, so start by getting an empty container and adding a little bit of water to this. Um, this is just pure tap water, just, out, just turn on the tap cold water. Now you need to add flour to this. I don't have any specific measurements because I don't use them myself so yeah. I start off here by adding two spoonfuls. I think it comes out roughly one to one flour to water, maybe slightly more water. Really it's about the consistency. So you need it to be quite thick. So like it needs to um, not feel too runny. Like, it shouldn't feel watery. But it should, if it starts to pull away from the sides of the container, then you know you've gone too far. I've also added a teaspoon of salt to this. This is just to stop moulding and it's just good to add in. Now I start to massage this into paper. As you can see, I'm speeding this up a lot. This takes quite a while of just massaging the um, paper until it becomes nice and smooth. There shouldn't be any lumps or like clumps of paper that are still tough, it should all be soft and squishy and like smooth. Um, I'm gonna make a really quick cat figurine. Um, I'm not gonna make anything too specific, but I'm gonna show some of the techniques I typically use. Um, you don't need any tools really to start off with paper clay. Like, I use the handle of a paintbrush to tap out the eyes. I do have a couple basic clay tools, but I didn't when I started out and they're definitely not necessary. So yeah, I just start putting on all the pieces, blending things together. Smaller things I'll blend on with my fingers, um, so yeah. And the biggest piece of advice I can give to you when sculpting with paper clay is patience. Be patient. Things are going to fall apart, things are going to crack, things are going to crumble. If you throw a tantrum and like quit just because something starts falling apart, you're not going to get much done. Small things like this will probably be okay, but bigger pieces like the ones I make on my channel, they have what I call a frustration stage when they're drying, where everything decides to break. When that happens, just be patient, wait for everything to dry and just stick it back together, either with more paper clay or PVA glue. You don't have to worry about things um, being like, like just because things are falling apart does not mean to give up hope. As you can see here I'm blending pieces together with a wooden sculpting tool. These tools are pretty great, like I have a couple of them, they were a Christmas present from a couple years ago, and I just use them to blend on the larger pieces. Um, they can help avoiding like getting too much under your nails because that can sometimes be uncomfortable. You're not going to be able to avoid getting messy, this is a messy process, so you might want to protect work surfaces and stuff, um, because I have experienced it damaging the surfaces of tables if it dries and then you try and scrape it off, especially as I use like pretty cheap like IKEA level tables, like if it's proper wood then it shouldn't damage it, but when it's like just that sort of card-ish, like not card, but like wood chip board stuff, your table could get damaged, mine has. But yeah. Um, yeah, and then you shouldn't be afraid of getting your hands messy, it just comes off if you wash your hands. Um, and it doesn't stain or anything like that on clothes or anything once it's washed, so, which is great. Um, but yeah, it will get messy, it will get sticky, so yeah. That stuff happens. Um, yeah. In terms of other tools that I use, I like having something thin and me like metal. That could be like a needle, a pin, um, the, like, you could use the back of a pin badge, you can use a felting awl, 
In this video I literally used a paper clip which I've unfolded and um, like bent out into one straight piece at one point. I literally used a paper clip. Like it can be anything that's thin. It just allows you to get precise details. You, you should nail if you're willing to, like fingernails if they're long enough and willing, you're willing to get them under, like get them messy. Like it just has to be thin enough that like it fits in really. Um, if you're working on long, thin structures like arms or legs, sometimes I let these dry before attaching them to the main body because the thing you're always going to be contending with when making stuff out of paper clay is gravity. Like, this stuff is flimsy before it dries, and like, if you have long, thin pieces, gravity will start to put it down. As you can see, I sometimes use a fan to um, make it dry faster. And here I'm using a small piece of paper to um, create extra details. I do this a lot. Anything which is less like um, organic, I use paper for because it creates nice clean edges. It like, makes it look more man-made, which is nice. And I always like that effect. So yeah. This is a pretty cute kitty cat so far. Yeah. Um, in terms of paints, I use incredibly cheap poster paints. Like these I got at the local Hobbycraft for, get this, 24 pots for, for £12. It was 50p a pot. So yeah, you don't need fancy paints. Like if you've ever done arts and crafts in your life, you probably have some paint lying around, you can use it. You can use better paints, I have used acrylic paint on these before, but it's not necessary by any means. So I start with a basic grey base coat. And now I'm going to start adding some washes, which is just this like black um paint watered down and i just go over everything something you need to know if you're going to use this specific brand of paint or caldo that i'm using here um some of the paints dry a lot lighter than they go down the worst offenders for this are the gray and electric blue but yeah it's just something to be aware of <clears throat> sometimes the um washes bring up the paint in some areas, especially if you don't let it dry long enough. I just touch those up. Now I'm going to um, dry brush some like lighter grey over everything. It just brings out the highest points and raises everything and it just makes everything look a lot more detailed. It just brings out all the lost information, kind of, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, I add on some details. I'll admit, I was out of frame for a lot of the detail work on this. And that's just because detail work requires quite a bit of focus. As you can see here, I'm completely out of frame. I'm sorry. But yeah. It's because, and naturally when I'm focused, I draw it closer to my face and sometimes I forget where the camera is. But yeah, just... All you like, really need to know about like detail work is you need to be patient. Just take your time with it and try and keep a steady hand. Um, it's no different to any other sculpting medium, this is just painting. So like, it's not specific to paper clay, so I'm sure you can find a hundred videos on detail painting miniatures and stuff on YouTube, so yeah. I also have these Wilco Let's Create Metallic Paints, these are actually a gift from my friend. Um, these are also fairly cheap because everything at Wilco's is fairly cheap. <laughs> and I'm not knocking that, a lot of my stuff is from Wilco's. This is the only slightly costly thing here, and I say slightly, it's like five quid or something. It's not much, it's matte Mod Podge. I just use this to coat everything. It's not necessary by any means, I just think it gives it a nice finish. But I have resin glaze things before if I want a more glassy look. Um, basically any top coat will work here. Alright, with that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next week for another one. Bye.